This video is brought to you by Ark Knights, the brand new dystopian strategic RPG mobile. Now available on Google Play and the App Store for free. Looking to jump into the newest mobile strategy game, Ark Knights? Well, we got some tips for you to keep in mind while playing. Name's Dave with Watch Mojo, and today we're giving you our top 10 gameplay tips for Ark Knights. <laughs> For this list, we'll be sharing some crucial advice for you to consider while playing Ark Knights, a mobile strategy game developed by Hypergriff and published by Yostar Games. Number 10. Check your inboxes and missions. This seems like a no-brainer, but it's worth mentioning. As with most modern video games, Ark Knight keeps its community engaged through season events, as well as occasional gifts of in-game items and currency. On top of checking your notifications, You'll also want to open up the mission menu whenever you can. Not only are you able to complete story-related missions, but also participate in weekly challenges and milestones, giving you more ways to earn currency and supplies. Unlike most free-to-play games, Ark Knights is surprisingly generous with its rewards, so you might want to take advantage of it. Number 9. Skill In its first hour or two, Ark Knights can ramp up the difficulty pretty quickly. That's why it's important to keep your eyes on the screen throughout missions. As your units take out enemies, a green bar will fill up beneath their health bar. Once full, you'll be able to activate that unit's skills, which varies between each of the eight character classes. One may be inclined to use a skill as soon as it's ready, but Arc Knights can be punishing for the impatient. Wait until things get hairy before you use it. It may end up saving you. Number 8. Enemy Types as you go through Ark Knight's tutorial, make sure you pay attention when the game explains how character classes work. Each of them have their own strengths and weaknesses, and with that comes a smorgasbord of enemies that can potentially take them down with little effort. Some may hover in the air, just out of reach of melee based units. Some may have tough armor that can only be penetrated by caster's magic. Make sure you can quickly recognize the type of enemies you're dealing with before it's too late. Number 7. Squad Management When off the battlefield, a solid chunk of your time will be spent managing your squads. This is much more crucial to gameplay than it may seem. In order to keep up with the game's increasing difficulty, you'll have to keep track of which unit you're leveling up and how often you're upgrading their skills. You'll also have to keep track of your unit's potential ranks, a rank that can reduce deployment costs or increase a stat. Ark Knights does not reward the hoarder, so make sure you're using those drill cards and tokens as much as possible. Number 6. Diversify your squad This is perhaps the most crucial step to take before going on a mission. While it may sound like a good idea to load up on casters or defenders, your plan will only backfire. Each unit class has its fair share of strengths and weaknesses. Snipers, for example, prioritize airborne enemies over ground troopers. Vanguards have low deployment costs, making them great to play at the start of a mission. Casters may have a slow attack rate, but are strong against armored enemies. I mean, you get the idea. That being said, it is best to keep your squad varied and have at least one unit for each class. Number 5. Formation Another important thing to factor into building your squad is a mission's design. Each mission will give you two planes to work with, one where your units may directly attack ground forces, and a second that is meant mainly for snipers, casters, and support units. However, certain classes can only be on one of those planes. Again, this goes back to diversifying your squad. However, you'll also need to keep in mind which units you're placing where, since each character has their own attack range. If you need more time to think, you can tap on a unit's picture to check their stats and range when combat slows down a bit. Oh, and uh, also, make sure you have your units facing the right way. Number 4. Currency and Rewards Like many other mobile games, Ark Knights has a handful of currencies and materials for you to keep track of. It may all be overwhelming at first, but you'll only need to worry about a few of them. Originum and Arundum are used for recruiting new characters. You can also get headhunting permits to avoid spending the materials. Drill cards can be used to level up characters, and character tokens can be used to increase a unit's potential. You may also be rewarded with seemingly random items, such as skill summaries, which may further improve your unit's skills. As we said earlier, use materials as soon as you can to avoid having an overwhelming inventory. 
Number three, always be recruiting. If you want to nab high graded units, you may find it useful to continuously recruit. Opening up a recruitment post gives you a chance of finding five or six star characters. Yes, there are cooldown timers and nobody likes cooldown timers. However, Arknights allows you to choose how long you want your recruitment to go on for. You can set it for as low as an hour, or as long as up to nine hours. But your chances of getting that legendary unit all differs on how long you want to wait for. Still, this is a solid example of giving the players a choice, unlike how many other studios claim they want to do their games. Number two, don't let dupes get you down. We've all been down that road far too many times. You want to spend your hard-earned currency to get a new character and it's a duplicate. Throughout our time with Arknights though, we gained a Hartley assortment of units and didn't get duplicates until roughly an hour or two into the game. Once we did, we found a fair and reasonable trade-off. Should you get a duplicate character, your duplicate can be traded in for a token that can be used to increase your unit's potential. The best part is that potentials can be upgraded with a single character token. So yeah, you may have gotten a dupe, but at least you're given an instant upgrade. Number one, the truth about stars. When playing the game, the Arknights team let us in on a little secret that we'll share with you. The stars aren't as significant as one might perceive them to be. Well, then what's the point of having a tier system, right? Well, here's the catch. The stars don't matter at first. If you really want to make high tier units effective, you'll have to do the same thing with every other unit. Level them up when you can, increase potential rank, and upgrade skills. It may take some time before you see the effects, but trust us, it's worth it in the long haul. Mission accomplished. This video is brought to you by Arknights, the brand new dystopian strategic RPG mobile, now available on Google Play and the App Store for free. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.